The small historic town of Clare marks the start of this lovely circular walk to the nearby village of Cavendish. Beginning at Clare Castle Country Park, the route follows the Stour Valley path out of the town along a meandering footpath across vast open fields with views across the Stour Valley and surrounding countryside. Once in Cavendish, the route crosses the village green and takes a path past Pentlow Mill and across more vast open countryside with barely a soul about. The route eventually makes its way back to Clare Castle Country Park. Clare Country Park is a popular destination for the residents of Clare with beautiful nature trails, numerous longer walks, refreshments and the spectacular castle ruins and earthworks. Located alongside the car park is the large goods shed, a relic from the former railway that once cut a line right through this historic area. The railway opened in 1865 and served the community for a hundred years before closing and is now home to a small museum. Close by and towering over the country park lies Clare Castle, a large mott and double bailey castle dating as far back as the late 11th century. The mott itself has been built up to a height of 53 feet with the remains of a circular keep on the summit. A long section of the curtain wall also remains along an earthwork marking the inner bailey's northern edge. Heading along the path through the country park, the route passes the Grade 2 listed building that is Clare train station, with platform just behind. During the summer months, the station is home to a small tea room and perfect for snacks and drinks before heading out on the walk. Following the Stour Valley path out of the country park, the route heads north past a small graveyard and across the busy A1092. Thankfully, the next few miles are all on footpaths making this a stunning and very rural part of the walk. Eventually the path turns right at Hermitage Farm and continues along the Stour Valley path to the east. This is followed by a gentle ascent to around 100 feet, giving views back to the town with the church spire and castle just about seen. After crossing vast open fields, the path passes along the edge of Horton Hall, a beautiful medieval timber-framed house dating to the late 15th or early 16th century and surrounded by a water-filled moat. A Georgian front was added to the building in 1854.
Cavendish is eventually entered along a tree-lined track next to the graveyard and pops out right onto the stunning village green. With a population of only 1,026 inhabitants, Cavendish is well prepared for visitors with a small shop and numerous pubs. Cavendish was home to Sue Ryder, who established the Sue Ryder Foundation, which later became Sue Ryder Care and now operates more than 80 care homes worldwide and over 500 high street charity shops, including one just by the village green. Continuing the walk, the route heads along the main road briefly to a footpath which passes through a garden and over a footbridge towards Pentlow Mill. Pentlow Mill, which is technically in Essex, as the river which runs alongside marks the county boundary, was built in the 18th century and now converted into dwellings in a truly idyllic spot. Beyond the mill, the country lane is followed for just a short way to pick up a public bridleway which heads along the southern side of the River Stour to the west. About three quarters of a mile along this bridleway, the path joins a narrow lane past Bower Hall, a Grade II listed building dating from 1600 with alterations through the 20th century. Beyond Bower Hall, the lane is followed to pick up another bridleway heading west. This bridleway is flanked by vast open fields and is usually alive with all manner of farmland birds, including countless skylarks and yellowhammers. In spring, it is also possible to hear the faint calling of the iconic cuckoo just by the River Stour.
As the path edges closer to Clare Castle Country Park, stunning wildflower meadows are crossed close to a peaceful sound of a nearby weir. Just to the north is Mill House, a Grade II listed building dating to the early 19th century and overlooking the lovely meadows. The River Stour is rejoined by the weir and followed back to an old railway crossing next to the country park, but before finishing the walk there is one last historic treat that is not to be missed. Clare Priory is located just a stone's throw from the car park and dates back to 1248. It is free to explore the beautiful gardens and ruins, with the layout of the church and cloister easily imagined. From here it's a simple crossing of the railway bridge over the River Stour back to the car park. <laughs>